everyone, mango 7 roll here. How are we doing today? Welcome to another episode of Epic 7. And this one is uh, in response to a question I got from Discord this morning. And this is why I really like when people join Discord. Uh, link is in the description below. If you ever have any questions, just send them to me and I can try to answer them and I can try to help the most amount of people possible. And it's been a while since I've done a video like this, so hopefully this helps you out. Anyway, this person says, uh, Hey Mango, so I don't know if you entertain video requests, I do, uh, but throughout your videos, your resources can jump wildly between videos. They, they, they do, indeed. Uh, so I'd love to know where you farm your gold, what's the best option for stigma, and uh, what opportunity there is for sky stones each month, and how you get your silver transmit stones. I think we're all struggling with that right now. Um, I find myself low on gold and stigma literally every week and forget all where sky stones can be gotten each month. Maybe even a section of what we need to make sure we do every day. If you don't want to do a video on it, you maybe take a second and just type something out. I'll do that too, by the way, if you ever have questions. I love your videos and always watch the day they come out. Thank you for your time. Thank you so much for the kind words and uh, let's get into this. So before we get into this, uh, feel free to get down there, hit that like button, hit that comment, hit that subscribe button. It helps out so much. And uh, one thing I want to say before we get into this is um, this is coming from a basically free-to-play perspective at this point. Uh, I haven't really spent any money this year outside of one Mystic Pack. So uh, basically all my resources are uh, obtained free-to-play wise and anything I've spent, which has been that one Mystic Pack, which um, basically guaranteed me Luluka that day or something like that instead of having to wait a week, uh, have been all free to play like if you can see at the top here i don't have monthlies either or anything like that and also just to be as transparent as possible just to answer all the he's paid a win he's a whale blah 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 questions uh first before we get into this i also do receive some sky stones every month from uh epic seven themselves but it's not very much and i've probably have more sky stones that i've received total all year from them just in my bank right now so um, keep that in mind, and I just want to be as transparent as possible to let you know where all of my resources come from. So, first things first, uh, how do I even start this? Let's just start off with, uh, my, my, my regular rotation of things to do every single day. Uh, as you can see here, I still have a ton of arena flags. That's something I should not have. That should be down to zero, and you should be regening those and spending them as they go. So don't take my example from that. Um... And the next thing I do when I log in is I go straight to my sanctuary. I make sure I click Heart of Orbis. I know this is stupid, but it's there. Um, and also for my Forest of Souls, I have 133, and I only ever really do Spirit Wells. I don't do Penguins because XP is just such an easy thing to do right now. And um, I save my Stigma until I desperately need them for something like a, a six star for um, a video or something like that. Uh, I also have my High Commands going one of each of these for the four hour missions. And uh, that's a big form of your resources there. Also, in terms of the shop stuff you need to do daily and or weekly, uh, there's a couple here. If we click on normal, we go down and there is the malicious bug charm. I buy this every single uh, week. It costs three of these lab tokens. I don't really use my lab tokens anymore. I probably should. I definitely should, but I just don't use them. Um, because normal, there's just nothing really in there for me except for the galaxy bookmarks, which I probably... Sh I should be doing. There's no excuse. You should definitely be using your tokens. Um, I don't do anything else in this shop here. As for my transmit stones, I buy the Molagora, two of them every week, of course. And I buy the Ego Fragment as necessary. I don't buy anything else. Uh, and we'll talk about the Silver Transmit Stones in a bit as well. As for Power of Knowledge, a lot of people buy a ton of Greater Artifact Charms, but I don't really do that. I'm also the type of person who does not want to make multiple artifacts. Like, I don't like making two portraits, for example, or two uh, whatevers. I'd rather just use one at max level and then, like, use a slightly worse, different artifact on somebody else. It's just the way I play. Probably not the correct way. It's just how I do it. Um, I have 81 powder right now, and uh, I basically am saving for limited artifacts here. So uh, what I do buy is the Bottle of Knowledge whenever it comes out, if I can get it. And now with their new limited artifact system, I will buy them. I will never buy the four-star artifacts just because you'll get them pretty much eventually. Like, they'll, they'll come and it's just not worth it to me. 
As for the friendship shop, I buy the energy and the flags every single day. That's how I have so many extra flags. Um, and yet the ancient coins here, I buy charms as I need it, but I have so much now that uh, it's hard to run out of accessory charms. I don't buy the malicious, malicious bug charm anymore. Um, and as for conquest points, I buy the Molagora seed every week. I buy the 30 and or the 40 energy three times a week as well. And then uh, I basically buy whatever upgrade things I need as I come to it. As for dailies, I mean, as for where you get your resources, your, your sky stones and stuff like that, they come from everywhere, right? You just got to make sure you're playing the game. Make sure you're doing your dailies and your weekly reputations every single day. The other thing that, like, not everybody knows exists. Like, believe it or not, not everybody knows these uh, extravaganza things exist here. And there's a lot of people just not doing them. Make sure you're doing these as well. Uh, make sure you open your presents, then you get your thing after here, and then you get uh, more rewards. I actually didn't even notice this is down here. Uh, usually there's a, um, uh, a feedback form you can fill in here for 50 stamina or something like that. Make sure you do that. And as for how I spend my resources, my stamina right now for a regular day, you can see my energy in my box here. I try to hold as many of these as physically possible until they run out. So my mailbox always looks like this with stuff running away. And once they get to one day, I make sure to claim them. And uh, the reason being is I only like to use any excess stamina and leaves on two times hunts or two times rune or two times anything events really like there's there's just not a reason for you or me or anybody that doesn't spend a lot of money uh to do that anymore to spend them outside of those days unless uh you really really can't play too often and i mean like you can't play too often as in you can't hit one button to do 20 runs every like hour you know like if you can press one button on your phone and leave it to the side every hour you can spend more than enough stamina you know like way more than enough even if you only do that like two or three times a day tops um your stamina is just gone so this is why i do not spend any resources unless i absolutely have to um obviously you're going to be further behind in gear and everything uh if you're not spamming 24 7 like somebody else who spends a lot of money but that's just the reality of the game so don't be kind of scared of of not doing that because most people aren't uh and you're not going to be really paired against the people who are so just don't don't worry about that whatsoever as for where i spend my stamina um right now the way they changed the dailies you don't actually have to do any adventure anymore and you don't have to do spirit altar so the only time i will ever do the spirit altar is uh during the two time drop rate events i will never go in here outside of that anymore unless i screw up and i need a unit for youtube or something like that i also uh do not do just regular story anymore not even to farm fodder because fodder is so easily farmed in dungeons now um so i spend pretty much all of my stamina the excess stamina i have right now in the hunts here and uh usually i do the wyvern hunt but if I'm looking to gear up for XP, I do Banshee, a three-man run. I actually don't have the team building right now. I try to have it built every second month and, and do all the fodder uh, once every second month, basically. And uh, what I do is I run my uh, Baikin, my um, Bologna, and my Vivian team with one fodder and just burn through all my fodder that way and get all the XP I need and get her done. Uh, I really recommend having a three-man one fodder team that's quick somewhere just to be able to do that so you don't have to level up your fodder in the story or anywhere else um and honestly when i do story now if there's ever a side event i i don't even bring fodder i just level up people for friendship because your fodder is so easily uh obtained in banshee like you'll run out of fodder before anything else so that's uh the way i do it it got to the point where while i was farming banshee I would uh, put in another max level character with no gear on just to get them friendship points at this point. So keep that in mind as you go. And like I said, you can finish this all without doing the daily adventure and without doing the um, the spirit altar as well. So you can get it done without those two. So all you have to do is the arena and everything else here. So that's something to super keep in mind to try to maximize your stamina. 
Um, the other thing a lot of people aren't doing right now are the expeditions. Uh, I'll record some videos on my team later, but expeditions are massive amounts of resources now. Uh, they're not the most fun thing to do, and there's a couple things kind of walling that fun. Uh, personally, for me, it's just like how many clicks it takes to get through all the windows is a little frustrating for me. So I like to do it kind of like all in one day or as many in one day as I can. Um, but you should always be looking at your wanted posters, sending them out, especially the ones you have and not overloading, like not going more than five and always attacking them because they're free. Uh, you can see it is the 12th right now and I am basically done. I could have been done a bit ago, but uh, I stopped the, in the, the last four days or so uh, just to make it so I will finish the rest just by sending mine out just to be a little more efficient. So that is a massive thing and I will post my teams for these eventually. I'll probably get some videos going out uh, for it. Uh, just from my personal experience, I noticed people are struggling the most with this one here. Um, usually people's scores are pretty low on the hopeless Simicus, but uh, I found a team with like idols cheer and a lots with no skill ups and Landy just decimates it. So um, that's something to really keep in mind and don't be Athena, you know, don't, don't send out your things and just not attack them. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Athena's are a unique individual and uh, you know, like if you, if you send out your things, and leave them unattacked, Not uh, nobody else is going to attack them because they see it full and they're like, I don't want to bother. So it just ends up wasting things. Just make sure you do some damage uh, to get those done. Uh, what's next? Pets. Pets, pets, pets. Pets are another thing that bring a pretty passive uh, return as you go along. I actually did a pet video recently for uh, Loth and made his triple S hunt pet. So that's something you should be doing. Uh, go check out that video if you need to do. Uh, and need some advice on how to do it, but it's definitely something that needs to be done because the amount of this passive return you get is insane. You don't actually, um, like it takes a lot to, to get it going, but once you do, you see how much the pet brings back, especially in hunts. And uh, other resources I have here, um, a lot of people don't really know what to do with their gear, and I'm kind of one of them. I don't really follow the right thing to do. So right now what I'm doing with my gear is I'm basically just selling everything that is in a speed set because at this point I only have enough conversion materials for speed sets. It's just not worth it doing anything else for me right now. Um, so what I do is I go through and I sell everything that doesn't have a speed sub I can gamble on basically and uh, doesn't really look good enough and just go from there. Uh, I sell all these. That's probably like the rolls are too low and it's not the right set. So I go through, um, sell all these and yeah, I sell all those, get some gold here. And uh, then I extract the speed sets usually uh, depending on what piece it is. So uh, I, I think I just did that recently so I can't show you, but I'll ex extract all the speed sets and basically sell everything else. Like these here basically probably all need to be sold because there's just no need for me to have the uh, extract material for everything else. And I think this is uh, where a lot of people's resources go now because they just automatically extract everything, right? And they don't realize how much gold they're missing just from doing this. Like for example, uh, I did the same and I was being lazy and just kind of getting like extracting everything because I was being lazy and can you even see it? Uh, I'm trying to find out where you can see it here. You totally can't see it, can you? Uh, you can't see it in here, really? It's got to be somewhere. Um, anyway, I'm sure it's in there, but let me go check in here. So if we go to my conversion section, um, you can see all the stuff I wasted. Oh. You would be if I could check. Come on, seriously? I have nothing, and this is what I mean, uh, only for speed now. So let's do let's do this one here, because uh, you can see all of these. There's no way I'm using these. Like, I'm never using these. I might use immunity. Not using, not using. I'm not using basically any of these except for speed. So all of this is lost gold now, uh, which is a really huge mistake myself and many others are making. So be really, 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 really careful with that. Um, what are some other things? I'm trying to think, right? Oh, 
transmit stones is another thing right now. Uh, they gave us... They were, they were generous enough to give us another Mola a week at the cost of silver transmit stones. And those are massively rare now. Like, it's actually pretty hard to get those going. And if we go to transmission now, this is how I personally do it because I don't know a better way. Um, the first thing you can do is uh, feed a Guider Aether a bunch of other Aethers and make your Guider Aether triple S. And he counts as a four star and all the uh, three star imprints count as extra. So you'll get something like 72 transmit stones if you sell a uh, triple S Guider Aether. But what I end up doing is I just feed random four stars now because I just uh, I, I have no other way to get them. And all of these are triple S anyway. So I'll just get rid of like a Cartuja and a Karin um, and a Pergus or something. And then that's my 30 a week that I need. Uh, and if I need a little bit more for the Ego Fragment, I'll do that as well. Uh, again, not sure if this is the right way. It's just the way I'm doing it. And those are just kind of burning holes in my inventory anyway. So um, it's how I get by for that. As for labyrinths as well, uh, a lot of people go to the labyrinth every day, go get their hoochie rewards. I don't do that anymore because I am lazy. You can notice this far into this game, I get really lazy about things because uh, <laughs> it's just annoying for me to do. So I don't do them. Don't be like me if you want to be a little more efficient here. Uh, but as for my hell raid, I only really buy the weapon right now for the pieces, but make sure you're doing this every single week. Um, I've got it all done this week, I think, or this month, rather. Uh, and make sure you're doing normal every week as well. I buy the uh, random box in that just for the chance of Molagoras, but a lot of people disagree with me on that. But they're missing out on Molagoras, and I am not, so I stand by that one for sure. And where I spend my gold is a tough one um see i'm i'm a little different right because i'm a youtuber and i need units to be able to show you folks so i spend mine a little more uh frequently on stuff like that than other people do but generally most of my gold right now is going towards shop refreshes especially since mystics are the only thing you can't really get as a free-to-play player and like i said i am close to free to play right now uh, in terms of consistent spending. So um, that's where I spend a lot of mine uh, also on gear. Also, every now and then, if I go over like 20, 30 million gold, I'll do a crafting spree. Uh, I don't do that too often if we can see my resources here. I think I just did one recently. But I have uh, a bit of rewards or a bit of uh, materials for all of the things. And... Um, that's about it with gold, you know? Like, I just spend it there, here and there, and I try to be as careful as I can with it. I also don't move my equipment around unless I have to for a video. That's the only time I do it. Uh, I never do it otherwise. I wait for free equipment removal. I'm too stubborn, and I just can't. I, I, I can't, you know? I can't waste that gold. I need it too much to be able to waste that gold. And another thing, too, if you look at my resources here, like, look how many of these I have, and most of them are from the expeditions as well. So if you are not doing your expeditions, you are throwing away a ton, a ton of reforged materials. Uh, and finally, one last thing, one last thing. We've talked about stamina. We've talked about transmit stones, force of souls. Um, like I said before, I do not like doing penguins. Some people are lazy and uh, level up units with penguins, but I don't do that. I only use phantasms again. I'm a YouTuber, I need to make as many units as possible. So I use Phantasms to make six stars faster uh, since I can always use the fodder. And because of my Banshee farming with three uh, units and one fodder, I'm able to level those Phantasms up really, really quickly and efficiently while farming gear. So I really don't know what else to say. I think I've covered all of the things. I'm sure I haven't. Um, also make sure you're doing your world boss, make sure you're doing your guild war. Uh, make sure you're in the aid section getting everything done. Uh, make sure you're donating for extra things. Make sure you're buying these here as well. Like, there's no secret to getting stuff in this game, right? Like, there's dots everywhere. As long as you're following these dots, it's generally going to get you all the things you need to do. Another thing as well, 
that I forgot to mention that this one actually might be missed by a lot of people are the weekly survey rewards. And this is usually uh, 300,000 gold and um, five leaves or something like that. And this is once or twice a week usually. And uh, you can usually find the code on my Discord. Again, link description below. Or you can find it on Twitch or Reddit or wherever you look. Somebody will be posting the survey there. And then you just follow the survey, put in your information um, and get your rewards that way. That's something you have to be doing as well. It's a, a huge boost. Also, you should be checking out their streams because uh, it helps helps them, helps us. So that's awesome too. And I think we've done it. I think I've covered all the things I need to cover. And the number one, the number one thing I will say after all of this video, wow, it's been 20 minutes. After all of this video, the number one thing that when people come to me and ask me, you know, I feel like I'm missing X. How do you have X and I only have Y, you know? The number one thing is just time spent in the game and the amount of stamina spent. Um, for example, on my alt that I made that Genshin kind of ruined, I'm sorry. Uh, I was ahead of a lot of people that were asking me questions in like a week because I just blazed through with the amount of time spent in game. It has nothing to do with money a lot of times. It has to do with time spent in the game, number of runs done, number of stamina spent, number of leafs spent. Uh, that's where all of the resources come from because your gold's not going up if you're not doing dungeons, you know? Like your gold isn't going anywhere. Uh, yeah, I think I've covered it. I can't say anymore, there's so many things. If I missed anything, let me know. Send me a PM in Discord. Send me a message down here. Uh, do whatever you need to get in contact with me. And if I don't answer you on YouTube comments, it's hard to track them all. So that's why I always recommend Discord because I'll see Discord all the time and I'll respond to them pretty much right away unless I'm ignoring you, um, which happens sometimes. I'm just kidding. Uh, so yeah, thank you so much for watching. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe as always, and I'll talk to you all later. Bye, everybody.